Pacific Fins Resort, Guatemala. We leave out of Fort Lauderdale International and land in Guatemala City. A big city, heavily populated city. It's the hustle and bustle. Cars and trucks with souped up suspensions and lots of motorcycles that line the road. It's not about the destination, but it's about the journey. And we find ourselves in the sailfish capital of the world. As we pass through the city, we get into a leafy mountainous landscape with coffee farms and flower farms. Oh, and let's not forget volcanoes. Lots of volcanoes. 37 of them to be exact. This is a place where fishermen go to unwind, to be pampered, treated like kings for at least a day or two. As we settle in, our thoughts lean towards the open ocean and the adventure to come. This is day one of our trip to Pacific Fins Resort, Guatemala. <laughs> If you listen closely, you can literally hear the swells of the Pacific breaking on the beach and the breakwater. And we have our inlet um, just to the east um, behind me. And this is where our fleet of boats would have been. However, our fishing trip is over and this is the first morning um, after. So we have put three days, three solid days in out on the Pacific as far as probably 25 or 30 miles out. Um, and uh, this was really cool for John, uh, Will, and myself because we got to come down and, and fish in one, a new country, and two, a completely different fishery. And three, man, we got a story to tell about this. Anything you watch um, of this Guatemala fishery out of Pacific Fins Resort, um, they are known for their billfish. And this is the sailfish capital of the world. The sailfish bite is absolutely incredible and yes we caught beautiful sailfish um, every day for the last three days. But obviously we came down here, um, we wanted a jig. That was our, our real MO when we were booking this trip, when we were thinking about fishing here. Uh, we, we knew that we would default and do a whole bunch of trolling and we knew that Dorado, Mahi Mahi um, are out there and sailfish are out there. It's very exciting um, knowing that we're coming to a place that a lot of great uh, fishermen have fished, um, including uh, George Gods, who is the host of, of our um, trip. Um, Peter Miller also um, has fished you know, these grounds uh, quite often. And um, to come out here and experience something that I've only seen on TV and to be a part of it is something that I, I never imagined I would be able to do. You know? We get into our 35 foot Viking for the day and no expectations except for we wanted to have fun and catch fish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy. Look how blue it is. Oh, oh, it's a totally different idea of what we're trying to do with the slow pitch jigging. So granted, you know, we did want to drop a jig on the first day. We realized that you know what? When in Rome, do what the do what the locals do. Guatemala! Yeah! Bro, right Let me take a picture. And we headed offshore the first day and these the mates on our boat who are 
I mean, just true professionals. I think one of the mates told me that he's caught over a f uh, 500 uh, marlin, as well as um, he said he can't even count the number of sailfish that he's caught. And we get out there, they throw the spreads out for us initially. And, you know, there was some familiarity to uh, what they were doing as far as putting the spreads out on the outriggers, dropping out some teasers. And then the other familiarity was value. Um, they were trolling ballyhoo and they were using um, little egg weight um, that they were uh, threading and putting underneath the uh, bottom of the ballyhoo just to help it swim better. You know, they were using a threading tool through the nose and then wrapping it around and, and securing that to it and then spinning the hook uh, on to the thread after uh, they had the weight on there and that was the bait they were throwing out. Um, well, we got a sailfish on here and I was up here with the captain and right off the starboard side of the boat uh, was at least four and they were right on the surface and we were dragging our spread right by them and uh, one chewed and we got Johnny back here tight with that sail. They pulled the one up for me just one time to where I can take a beautiful picture, which I'm gonna show you guys, and then drop them back down, keep the boat moving, get some water uh, circulating through their gills, and then boom, release them. And I'm, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that every sailfish that we caught on this trip was released and survived. Spent the better part of uh, that whole first day uh, trolling, and we caught some beautiful sails. We each caught uh, a, a Pacific sailfish. Uh, we each caught our fair share of mahi mahi. Yeah, hold on. Welcome to Guatemala. Woohoo! What a schooly dolphin here are 20 to 30 pounds. You know, I, we did not see a dolphin that was smaller than 20 pounds. Get him, John. Going. Yeah, I was just this thing was jabbing me. I didn't have a belt on. I got caught.
here out on the water. Uh, we caught nice, really big mahi mahi, and we got some beautiful Pacific sails. And the wave was too big, too. We were. We found uh, two different floating log structures that we jigged, and the jig caught um, skipjack tuna. Quite a few of them, you know, upwards of ten. It's amazing because it's the first time we brought the jig on the Pacific Ocean, and it's great. Yes, and I think uh, our our captain and crew here, you know, wasn't totally familiar with with dropping the jigs, but when we had them stop on the log, you know, hoping that there was maybe wahoo down there, or we'd get tight to a dolphin or something. Um, but I, I think they got a better understanding because as soon as we dropped our jigs in the water, we the, the skipjacks were just boom, 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 boom. Uh, I hope we find the yellow pink tuna tomorrow. Yes. And we have a blast. Yes. Tomorrow the goal is yellow pink tuna. Now we don't have, you know, total authority of making the call. Today we wanted to potentially go for rooster fish and we were told that the afternoon is better. And then when we inquired halfway through the day, we were told that the tide isn't right. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. Nonetheless, this is an amazing uh, mahi-mahi and sailfish fishery. Uh, we did that uh, pretty much all day today and had success. Uh, we're looking forward to getting back on the dock and seeing how the other, how the other boats did. And, uh, you know, <laughs> overall, the first day was amazing. And uh, the only problem, we're going to have to do all this again tomorrow, guys. Oh, man. We got to do this again tomorrow? Yeah. We're going to have to do all over again. Well, well, if we have to, then we're going to bring you guys along for the ride as well. So stay tuned for day two. Stay Stay tuned for day two, Pacific Fins Resort. And don't forget to give a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, he's top of Guatemala. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.